creator that will guide us into the heart of darkness. How does Cronenberg communicate these ideas? You know, when he's sort of explaining these, the prosthetics or the choices, um, does he speak to you very literally about what's happening? Does he speak to you about it metaphorically or how does he help you sort of navigate that world? He talks less than most directors. He directs less than most directors in a sort of verbal way. He trusts the casting that he's done. He, he expects the, the crew and the cast to be really well prepared and have a point of view. Um, and then he'll adjust it, you know. But for me, I had to, for example, say, how do you express this, <clears throat> the discomfort that he has physically? And then he would guide me. Sometimes he might say, no, that's a little too much or that's not enough there. So he sort of guides you more than tells you what to do. How difficult or easy was it for each of you to sort of embrace um, these ideas that are essentially biological or scientific as sort of artistic and sensual? I'm a bit like the, I could be the director. Yeah. And you are the actor yeah. and I play with your organs. Yeah. But I play with your like your your flesh and your 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 body and in in a way when we act it's it's a bit the same, like you give your body to the camera but you also give your your soul. When I talked to to David, I asked him, you know, if he felt like he was an optimistic filmmaker and he or, or a hopeful uh, storyteller, and he said that he felt like he was. I'm curious if you two share that sentiment. He's like anyone else. He probably gets irritated sometimes that if he's getting older and, or just the idea that there's an end to this life, but he doesn't sit down and get depressed. He makes jokes about it. He makes movies about it. Um, he tries to get things done, you know, in that sense, I think he's hopeful. He, I think he believes in, in life. In that sense, he's optimistic because he, he believes it, that life is just here uh, and and now mm -hmm. and that body is the only thing that we can really relate to the only thing we can relate to because this is like our uh, envelope <laughs>